if you read the papers yesterday or a week ago, if it's now the Friday night repeat, um, you'll have seen <laughs> Judge Mr Justice Harmon resigned. He's mm -hmm. a judge notable for making a few crazy statements in his career. Uh, perhaps the most outrageous, when a woman in his court asked to be addressed as Ms, and he said, I've always thought there are only three types of women in the world, wives, whores and mistresses. Oh, that's a ridiculous thing, thing to say. say. That is awful, yeah. isn't it? I mean, because there are only two types, yeah, wives and whores. How can <laughs> you say that? Oh, that is worse. No, which... I'm joking. Right. I'm joking, of course. In the bad old days, honestly, in the 70s, men used to genuinely believe that there were only two types yeah. of women, the angel and the whore. It's pathetic. I'm glad I live in the 90s with the Spice Girls and girl power. They've shown how ridiculous that mm -hmm. is. Two types of women. <laughs> There are actually five types That's of women. That's just the Spice Girls. Very <laughs> distinct types, Stu. Not two, like you and Bernard Manning. I think. don't think that. I've and said. the Spice Girls each represent one of the five types. I'd love to see you explain how that works. All right, Stu, I will. With the aid of these cardboard cutouts. <laughs> <laughs> the first type of woman of the five is represented by posh Victoria Spice. Uh, she's the kind of woman who's sophisticated. She's a lady. Not the kind of woman you could take to Pizza Hut, mate. No. She's classy, you know. You'd have to take her to Pizza Express, you know. You can't say that. It's not. Sex 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 only one in five women are like that, Stu. Not one in two, like you and Jim Davidson. I don't think you're the same. I'm, I'm not sexist. You can't. The second type of woman is represented by Scary Mel B. She represents the kind of woman who is obsessed with sex. Sex, sex, sex. That's all she sex. thinks about. She wants it, Stu. She's a whore. She's a Jezebel. <laughs> She's a harlot, Stu. She's a bed bucket. Bed bucket. Yes, Stu. <laughs> <laughs> she is. She wants it. It's not sex. It it's is. only one in five women are like that, Stu. Not one in two, like you and Jeffrey Boycott think. I don't do. want <laughs> The third type of woman is represented by Ginger Jerry. Ginger Spice. Jerry. She's the one with the red hair. Though, uh, if you've seen the photos of her on the internet doing that kung fu kick you'll know she's not a natural redhead. <laughs> she's the type of woman, she's a leader, Stu. She's powerful, she's manipulative, you know. She manipulates men to do what she wants. Can't you know the type, mate, yeah. She's like Margaret Thatcher, but with a nicer ass. You can't, can't say that. Not. The fourth type of woman is represented by baby Emma, right? She represents the one in five women who are blonde and nothing else. You can't say that. <laughs> sex. One in five, one of you. Not one in two, like you and Skeletor. I do one in five. Sex. The final type him. of woman. No, it's true. The final type of woman is represented by sporty Melanie Chisholm. Yeah, Chisholm. Chisholm, Chisholm. 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 She represents <laughs> the final 20% of women. The final 20% of women, which is ugly women, <laughs> who can jump. You can't say that. What do you mean? No, it's got an ugly face, Stu, but boy, what do you leave? It's saying? incredible. Look, it's like a Zebedee so or something. What, Look at that. You're saying, you saying that nature has given her the jumping ability as some kind of compensation for the ugliness? Is that yes, it? Joanne. I think that's too simplistic an explanation, the nature argument. That's what a lamb would think. No, I think it's nurture. I think Melanie Chisholm, 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 Chisholm. Chisholm has been nurtured <laughs> by society to jump. I think Melanie Chisholm was born, right? She looked in the mirror. What, in the hospital? Yeah. As a baby? Yeah. yeah. She thought, oh, oh dear, I'm a bit ugly. <laughs> Better learn a skill. Oh, jumping. <laughs> yeah, yeah man, love a jumping woman, Stu. And you think about it. Jumping is the only way that an ugly woman can procreate, Stu. Right? Imagine the scene. Imagine the scene. You're sitting in your house, mind your own business, right? Melanie Chisholm, 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 yeah, right. Chisholm. could have leapt in through your window, done a cartwheel across the floor, <laughs> done a backflip up onto your lap, collected your gametes. Chisholm, no. <laughs> gametes is more polite, Stu, right. in her ovaries, and be out the window before you had a chance to look at her. Just as she's disappearing down the street, you'd Sorry. go, hold on, um, she's a bit ugly. Yeah. <laughs> it's too late, Stu, she's got your gametes. Yeah, uh, the ugly women.